So, so okay. So you read this 200 pages, and you're just like, we're going back to Voyager and the meeting. You read the 200 pages. It's, it is. It's it's Adagio for strings for 200 pages. Okay? It's so sad. It's uh, whatever. But then Claire goes through. And she's walking around, you know, the Royal Mile and walking around and eating her peanut butter and shit. And she finds, <laughs> she finds, she finds the printer. Damn peanut butter walks, sandwich. Last you a she, lifetime. <laughs> and she walks in the door. And that, and I, and I'm reading, and I, and I really, you know, we've both, we've said this before. I did not expect, I expected the whole book to be about like the search, the search for Jamie, right? Me, so like, thing too. So like, two hundred pages in, she's like, you know, I walk through the door, like there's a sign, you know, um, a and mouse there he was. No, 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 and it said, and there, you know, behind the pr- bent over was Jamie. was Jamie. Sorry, this is just a wine bottle, but it pretended it's a book. <laughs> Notice right, it's almost me. an empty wine bottle. <laughs> here's me. What Wait. Oh, oh, oh. I bawled. Oh, see, I, bawled, I don't believe bawled. it. I don't believe it. I expected him to turn around and she'd be like, oh, shit, it wasn't Jamie. No. I, I was just like, it I can't believe she found him. But I couldn't I can't believe, believe it happened. I know, you, well, I know, well, that too. But I just couldn't yeah, yeah. believe. Were you in the school parking lot? <laughs> I'm like this. This is me. But I told and then Jen you, and I did Shannon warn you. walk up, I and I am like this. To be tears. By, to no, don't let anyone bother. I know, her I know. Part. And this is me. Like they walk up, and I'm like, "Hi, hi, how, how are you?" Oh my god, I was completely losing it at that point. Yeah, completely losing it, and, and I had to act like nothing. Uh oh, Pat's are on the move. Um, it's our mother's birthday. Yes, we already said that. And we had a little lovely little poolside party and we yes. had a lovely dinner and yeah, she said she just wanted nice. to hang inside for a while but now I'm like wondering because I'm seeing her move around inside like a ghost. Nine more minutes. Eight more okay, minutes. Okay, Eight okay, okay. Discuss. Anonymous said. So I we love the two anonymous would have the signed thing their thing names because times. I love to give you guys credit and props. Anonymous, Anana one and Anana two. Anana two. Anana two. Anana, Anana, Anana. <laughs> Anana two said discuss if and how the books have changed your life and I have plenty to say. Go ahead. Okay. Um, all right. I'm going to say something that is very cute and whatever. Oh, I know what you're going to say. Well, I'm I just say. <laughs> <laughs> all right. No, because I'm going to tell you, my husband said this. My husband, okay, let me just tell you that he hates Outlander like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> if you say Jamie Fraser, he will take this bottle and hit you with it, right? But so I asked him that question one time. I was like, is there anything you like about it at all? And he's like, well, it probably, like, made you and your sister closer. And not like we weren't ever close to begin with. But, like, you know, you know how life is. Like, you have kids and I have a job and, you know, it's busy and, you know, whatever. And so, like, we didn't really, you know, we talked every couple weeks, every month, whatever. Right, whatever. And now, like, we talk, like, every day we have this empire. <laughs> we have the singular mission of, like, world domination for James Alexander Malcolm McKenzie Fraser. So, like... I mean, that is kind of a good thing. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, I am the wee pee. <laughs> I am the wee pee. So, so yes. I mean, so yeah. So, in, I mean, I don't know that it's a change, but it's, but it's a nice thing. Yes. Um, and it just is like, you know, I have to say, like, it's been fun. I mean, like, meeting all of these people, even virtually, and I'm sure we'll meet a lot of people at Comic Con for real. But like, you know, I mean, I'm at the point in my life where I have a job that I really don't like. And shut it! You don't say that on camera. What are you insane? What is this Facebook? Nobody knows my. This is like name, something you whatever. you end up hearing about on the news. This girl got fired because she was on her Outlander video talking about <laughs> she hated her job. Yeah, whatever. No, I mean, like you know, I don't. Whatever. You know, it just is. It, it just is. It's a job. Whatever. It's fine. Whatever. But you know. It just like it's a fun thing to come along and and sort of break up the monotony. And the books are just so good. I mean, like I really hadn't read a book that was that good in a long time. Oh damn! You so all right, now anything. you go. You answer. Can't find anything to match it. Um, I will say that a year ago in January, I'm gonna say it was January of 2009. I read The Pillars of the Earth for my book club, and I was all proud of myself that I read. Space. Who? Who? Jin's babe. I was all proud of myself that I read, and it's like 1,150 pages. And I'm all I'll like, be right oh, back. I read 1,150 pages. Uh-oh, here comes Pat's R. Um, 
and I was all proud of myself. I read 1150 pages. And then after that, I read the Twilight series and um, I kept saying, oh, I'm too good for that. There's a bunch of teenage vampires. I'm not reading that crap. And then I did and I loved it. And the second book in, I started a blog for Twilight, mytwilightpurgatory.com. Ooh, a little bit of a plug. Um, that was the first blog that I started. <clears throat> Actually, I did a blog for New Jersey, but anyway. And um, I got really into it, but I kind of mm. think that was my practice for this because then we after have, like, Twilight was over. A little less environment. Okay, after Twilight was over, I was like, what the hell am I going to do now? And Tracy was like, we're reading this book series, mm. Outlander. My friend Emily loves it, and we're going to read it. And I was like, yo, Edward Gullen, what am I going to do? So we started Outlander. It was awesome. Number one, it brought me back to my absolute undying love for Scotland. I was there 10 years ago. My husband is Scottish. Dude, I did not do that to you. No, no, we but we have, here. just keep going. Well, what do we have? Do? We're going to have, keep going. My husband is Scottish. I was there 10 years ago. He has relatives there in Paisley, and I loved it. I was only there for three days, and it changed my life just going there. So reading this book, I sort of had forgotten about it, and reading this book just brought it all back again, so that was one. Um, number two, what Tracy said, um, that, you know, we just sort of talked whenever, and we were like, yo, what's up? Now we're like, yeah! <laughs> um, which also were chicks in our forties <laughs> and you know, we're still having a lot of fun. And number three, I will say that it's given me great. Um, this blog has given me great. It's taught me about blogging and about, you know, a little bit about web mm -hmm. design and you know, I'm, I'm sort of trying to use it to do other things. My truck stop purgatory.com. And, um, you know, so it's, it's been, it's, it's been amazing and exceeded my expectations. Like I could not imagine. And, Comic Con, we're so looking forward to hanging out with some of oh, you guys totally. at Comic Con, and that's another way that it's changed our lives because we get to meet people, right, like Tracy right. said, whether it's cyber or not. All right, move on. Next, um, I hate that I'm answering my question and you're like waiting for me to finish the whole time. Sanderson Eleven said, "Is there an Outlander 2011 calendar out there anywhere?" God, I would love that. Oh my God, um, we're gonna have five videos here. Because I still have Percy questions connection. about the Percy connection. Didn't he marry into the Beecham family, or is he a Beecham and somehow connected to Claire? Um, he married into the Beecham family. I'm going to tell you that right now. We're going to answer these quick. Or is it Fergus that is a Beecham and related to Claire? Fergus's mother was in the Beecham family. Right. And, um... <coughs> Fergus! <laughs> Did I just say Fergus say without soft, getting a little... <laughs> and it's almost oh, like praying. praying. <laughs> Um, little Fergus the Boss. <laughs> Christy, where is Pocket Fergus? Um, um, let me see. Fergus is a Beecham through his father, right? No, his mother, Sanderson, right. his mother. Um, don't know if I spelled Beecham right. That's okay. Nobody does, believe me. And last, see, Tracy, we're almost finished. Ja uh, Jacobite Rising, who is Richard, our new male friend What's on My up, Outlander Richard? Purgatory. What's up, Um... Yes, talk about myself and Charles and how Our brave other we are. Laddie to friend, be men Charles. And reading the books and being a part of the group. Laugh out loud. I kid. Here's the deal. We're thrilled to have some guys. I know. Hanging out on the blog, coming to the chat, commenting. We love yep. it. Yep. And totally. Um, Richard, totally, I totally dig where you're coming from. I swear to God, this is going to sound crazy. I sort of feel like Gillis. Like, I, I sort of get where Gillis was coming from. Like, you go through your whole life, you don't know anything about this. Then you start reading these books and you learn about the Jacobite cause and you just go, oh my God, like what, I don't even want to get into it because I start getting really freaky about what went on and the Diskilting Act mm -hmm. and, you know, they weren't allowed to speak Gaelic and they weren't, oh, it just, the whole thing just makes me sick. But seriously, um, Richard, we dig you. We think you're cool. Charles, you're awesome. So, Next. okay. So that, well, that's all. That's all. And we're going to wrap it up. Um, we have chat every Monday night, nine o'clock. Eastern Standard Time PM. And people I know, some of you want a, um, a different a different chat time. Let me know. I'll set up a chat anytime you want. Even if I can't be there, it's totally Yeah, we cool. have to do an international chat because some of our Scottish we, friends are a little late. Yeah, you guys can you guys can go anytime, even if I can't be there. That chat room is available 24-7. I've seen people in there before. Yeah, use so. it, please. And now right. especially, now that I changed the chat software, you can use it all, whenever. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we will hopefully we'll make another video before Comic Con, but if not, we'll see you there. You yeah, go. we'll definitely be making videos Please. from Comic Con. Okay, oh, it's gonna be awesome. We're gonna meet herself. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. Okay, later. Bye bye. Bye bye.